All right, so finding a comfortable seat, come to sit onto your mat, cross-legged, ideally. Sitting up nice and tall, finding a comfortable place for your hands. I'm gonna have mine in my lap with the tips of the fingers touching, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the arms, closing down the eyes. And it starts, take a clearing breath in, and out through the mouth. <sighs> Closing the mouth, breathing in through the nose, out through the nose, in through the nose, out through the nose. Just bring the hands onto the body, so left hand to heart, right hand to belly, just to connect with the breath. So keep breathing through the nostrils in and out. Good, just feeling the belly rise and fall as you inhale at your own pace here. Good, and just one more round of breath here. Good, and just bringing the hands back to the knees. Again, finding that cycle of breath, the eyes closed. Connecting with the belly as you inhale. And exhale, relaxing the muscles of the face, the jaw lengthening from the crown of the head all the way through the spine. Good, let's roll the shoulders three times up, back and down, two and three. Good, take the arms out wide, inhale, bring the hands together, and then Kali Mudra, sending the energy upwards, so interlacing the fingers. Let's take a stretch to the right, and then you're gonna reach over to the left. Good. Try to keep the arms away from the ears, inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Good, from here, take the right elbow down into the right uh, hip joint and reach the left arm up and over. Then we go to the other side, we take the left arm down, we reach the right arm up and over. Then take the right hand fingertips down to the mat. Good, reaching up and over with the left, again lengthening through the side body and then over to the left, reaching the right arm up and extending through the body. From here, let's just ripple through the shoulders and the neck, getting all the way into the spine. So just rolling through the shoulders one direction, using the head and neck, and then changing direction and getting a few cycles on both sides. Rolling through the elbows, all the way through the head and the neck joint. Nice. Looking from left to right and then just arching one shoulder to one ear. Push the arms up to the sky, Kali Mudra again, so you point the index finger up. You reach to the right and you spiral all the way around to the left. Then you change direction, spiraling all the way to the right. Let's do one more round, right to left. And left to right, good. Getting into the shoulders, nice. From here, reach the arms up and out. Interlace the hands behind you, open the shoulder blades. And then you're gonna take a forward fold, bringing the forehead towards the floor. You can rest it on a pillow or a block. If it's too much to have the hands interlaced, maybe just reach one hand to the opposite elbow or just rest the hands on the lower back. Good, so feeling an opening and broadening across the collarbones. Inhale, expand through the arms and just flick through the fingers, so opening and closing the hands. And then taking the right arm underneath the left, hands to opposite shoulders or eagle wrap your arms tucking your chin, finding your breath. Good, then opening into cactus, pressing the chest forward and then left arm underneath. Hands to opposite shoulders or again, eagle arms wrapping backs of the hands or palms together. Then from here, slowly finding your way into your tabletop, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, little wiggle from side to side, just feeling out your space, your body getting into position and then just rocking forward and back. You can move the hands into whatever position feels good for the wrist. So I've got my fingertips facing out to each side. You might wanna flip them back to face the knees. Again, rocking the shoulders forward and back using the hips to get back into the forearms or just have the hands facing further forward. 
Let's tuck the toes and come into turbo ta table. So lifting the knees and just rocking forward and back, belly button to spine. Now inhale, drop the knees, lift the chest, look up. And exhale, arch the spine. Come back to turbo table, lift your knees, hover and hold. Maybe swing the knees side to side, getting ready for cat cow. Drop the knees, inhale, look up. Exhale, look through. Good, flat back, bash out the feet. Right arm to sky, inhale, and then exhale, thread the right arm underneath the left. Thread the needle, right arm to sky, and then number two, thread it underneath. Good, right arm to sky. And then this time, bring the right arm all the way underneath, come onto the right shoulder or the right ear. Maybe if you want to go further, extend the left leg behind you or the left toes. Careful here on the core, not to roly poly. Left knee down, press into left hand, right arm to sky, inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Good, other side, left arm to sky, look up. Exhale, thread the left arm underneath the right. Inhale, left arm to sky, look to thumb. Exhale, thread it underneath. Inhale, left arm to sky, lengthen. Exhale, come all the way down this time onto the left shoulder, left ear. And maybe extend your right leg up and back, engaging your core. Bringing the right knee down, left arm to sky, breath in. And exhale, come down. Nice, tuck the toes, take your hips to the sky. Coming into this very familiar pose, pressing your index finger and thumb, strongest parts of the hands into the floor, maybe just wiggling it out in your first downward dog. Looking through your thighs or up to your belly button, locking your gaze exploring the pose maybe some deep bends in the knees inhale ripple through to your high plank exhale twist the heels to the right take the left arm to the sky side plank now here's an option to rotate the arm left arm above the head and then you down to cactus so you swoop it up and you bend it down you swoop it up and you bend it down you don't have to do that that was just an option now swivel the heels and the hips over to the left take the right arm to the sky so we're on the other side now so left hand down right arm up and then if you want to do the arm sweep it up and bend it down so right arm sweeps up and you bend the elbow down to the side it sweeps up this time it sweeps all the way down back to your high plank position inhale and then slowly lower all the way to the ground Lifting the head and heart to baby cobra, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, cobra lift, exhale, forward fold, good. Then this time you might want to just come up a little bit more, you don't have to. But for those surfers or anyone that's kind of sitting at a desk, good to try to really stretch out through the spine. Now let's lift the hips back to downward dog, breath in and breath out, good. Finding your form, right leg to sky, three-legged dog slowly silently does it step it through in between the hands drop your back knee arms to sky kali mudra so index finger pointing up the rest are interlaced nice now bring the hands down frame the foot travel the hips back half split straight and right leg we're going to move through this right leg forward lunge exhale back to half split so dynamic inhale press into low lunge exhale straight in front leg Inhale, press through into low lunge. Very nice. Then from here, tuck the toes, lift the back knee. Just explore the left hip flexor with the back foot a little bit. Good, before stepping it all the way back silently to high plank before exhaling lower to chaturanga. Up dog will continue with cobra and then downward facing dog. Nice, pressing the heels into the floor. Left leg to sky, inhale. Slide, silently step it through in between the hands drop the back knee arms to sky kali mudra interlacing the fingers except the index finger energy but guiding upwards bringing the hands down traveling the hips back straightening left leg hammy stretch good inhale press into low lunge exhale travel back for the hamstrings inhale low lunge exhale travel it back straight and left leg Inhale, press back into your left leg. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee. Little explore of the hips, moving forward and back. And then carefully, easy does it, slowly set the left foot back, high plank. 
and slowly lower through Chaturanga, up dog cobra, inhale, exhale downward facing. Walking the hands to the back of the mat, so hands to feet, hanging down in your rag doll, forward fold, bringing the hands to opposite elbows, maybe doing a yes and no nod with the head, just hanging it all out, soft bend in your knees, making sure to not be looking at the mat. Then halfway lift, so inhale, fingertips or shins, and then exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, repeat, exhale, forward fold. From here you're going to walk back out all the way to the top of the mat, finding your high plank, breath in, and then exhale slowly, lower chaturanga, up dog, cobra lift, downward facing dog. Well done, good. From here you're going to tiptoe the feet back to the top of the mat this time, forward fold, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Sweep the arms to the sky, come to standing position. Hands come to prayer and then down by the sides. Tadasana, mountain. Inhale, arms to the sky. Placing the fingers, Kali Mudra again. So sending the energy upwards, index finger pointing upwards. We're gonna do some big sweeps. So you're gonna reach over, side bend to the right and then swoop over to the left. Keeping the arms as they are. Good, now we go to the left, sweep from left to right and up then from here extend the arms to the sky inhale and swan dive down to the floor exhale inhale halfway lift from here maybe you want to prepare for a step or jump through to chaturanga or straight high plank then up dog cobra lift downward facing dog inhale Exhale, right leg to sky. Open the hip knee to the side. Take a big full circle of that right knee for the hip and then gently does it, step it in between the hands. Sweep the arms to the sky, lunge. And this time you're gonna sweep arms all the way to the back of the mat to come into Ninja Skandasana. Left hand to the floor, right arm to the sky. And then ideally you're lifting the right toes into your Ninja. And then slowly sweep the arms back to center, left hand to the floor, right arm to the sky, side angle, breath in. Exhale, right hand down, gently step the right foot back, high plank, and then lower through Chaturanga, up dog cobra, inhale, downward facing dog, inhale one, exhale one, left leg to the sky, sweep it up, inhale, Exhale, open the knee, open it to the side, and then silently step it in between the hands. Sweep the arms to the sky, inhale. Remember we're going to the back of the mat, so we sweep the arms down, we travel to the back of the mat, take the right hand down to the floor or the shin, and take the left arm to the sky. Then nicely, expressively step back to the front of the mat, right arm down, left hand to sky, side angle. Left arm comes back down to the mat, frame the front foot, silently step it back for your Chaturanga low press up, up dog cobra, inhale, exhale downward facing dog, inhale, and exhale, slowly maybe do a little jump to your Malasana, your yogi squat, but you want to end gracefully and silently, then bring the hands to prayer, press the elbows into the inner thighs, pelvis facing forward, a little twist if you want to, right hand down, left arm up, and then switch, left hand down, right arm up. Really good one for the spine. We're gonna come back to a forward fold, so interlace the, um, not interlace, sorry, heel toe the feet to parallel and just drop the body down. Breath in, halfway lift, and breath out, forward fold. Big sweep to standing, three, two, one, roll the shoulders, stack the hips, arms to sky, inhale, and exhale, hands to heart center. Hmm. Good, then inhale, arms to sky, exhale, dive all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, perhaps prepare, and then step, jump, float to the back of the mat, Chaturanga, up dog, cobra, lift. Exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, 
exhale right leg to sky inhale don't open the hip yet slowly step it through gently sweep to lunge arms to sky find your balance from here bring the hands down you're going to slowly lift into warrior three so catapult the left leg back take the weight into the right leg lift into your balance arms can be anywhere so they can be hands to prayer by the sides out in front you're going to swivel that left knee all the way up and come into tree so you've got to get that left foot up into the right um, hip joint or the right shin not on the knee hands can be at hips or in prayer position Anjali pressing the hands together getting ready to straighten the left leg now so extend an open left leg in front just for a little hold and then you're going to slowly as much as you came into it silently step it back to a lunge arms to sky and then exhale sweep to the back of the mat back to ninja left hand to the floor right arm to sky right toes lifted and then swoop all the way back into your lunge arms to sky and exhale hands down silently step through vinyasas chaturanga up dog cobra downward facing dog inhale exhale left leg to sky breath in swooping the knee out to the side and stepping left foot in between the hands arms to sky lunge exhale bringing the hands forward sweeping lift to warrior three so catching the weight in the left leg this time extending right leg back hands can be a prayer or you can just be gliding the arms out by the sides careful transition to take the right knee out to the side and then sweep it into tree rikshasan so left foot to, right foot to inner left thigh even or down to left shin not on the knee squeeze the glutes press the palms firmly together grip the mat with the left foot engage your eyesight don't dart the eyes around it's very important in yoga to have focus in your drishti your eyesight extend your left leg out in front just a little hover through those glutes and then swoop the left the right leg sorry the right leg back and silently come to your lunge lift it up and swoop back to the right leg into skandasana ninja the back of the mat right hand down left arm up and then travel back to the front of the mat lunge inhale and then skip it out or vinyasa so just take it to child's pose if you want to or move through your up dogs your chaturangas and everybody then finds a child's pose bringing the head to the floor the hands can come to prayer maybe you can reach the hands back onto your shoulder blades this real connection human connection but of your own just feeling the hands as a soft offering on the forehead the base of the skull and when you're ready just bringing the hands back extended into your full extended child's pose softening your breath closing your eyes remembering who you are why you're here just finding that little moment of peace and we go to our downward facing dog right leg to sky inhale three-legged and then exhale step your right foot to the outside edge i got it wrong the first time so you want to get your right foot to the outside edge of your right hand so you're going to sweep your left leg through and under your arms and out in front of you so you then hover your left leg ideally or try to at least grab a hold of the left foot with the right hand little catch and then come to sit down with the left leg straight the right knee is bent you want to reach your left arm up and over across to your right arm across to your left foot or somewhere on your left leg and then take your left hand behind you and then take your right arm up and over to the back of the mat fingertips pointing back left arm to sky and then press and lift your hips up and then extend lower the bum down twist over to the left good you'll get the hang of it right hand down press and lift your arms up rock star pose feeling funky good and then take your arms down over to the left twist last one take your right hand down press and lift your hips up all the way front body stretch and then hips down twist over to the left then we're going to go back to where we came from before it's a bit tricky this one so just try and get there but to start with lift the left leg up few little hip flexor stretches 
up, down, up, down, and then rotating. Imagine, I've actually got a bottle here, so it's convenient. If you've got the block, you just lift the foot over. Then you place your left hand down and sweep your left leg all the way back behind you into your lizard lunge, right arm to sky. Step your back knee down for a little pause in your lizard lunge and then step your right foot back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, then left leg to the sky, lift and extend and then lizard lunge, left foot to the outside edge of your left hand, then step your right leg through just like you did with your left, weaving it all the way through, grab a hold of the right foot or right leg with the left arm and taking the right hand onto the lower back. Well done, that's a tricky one. So if you're there, some way, shape or form, good. Take the left hand and fingertips back behind and then press into your left knee, lift the body forward and then extend the hips down, take the hands over to the right. Left arm back behind, press and lift the weight up, opening the body and then taking the hands over to the right, twist. Last one, left hand down, pressing the weight into the left knee and then hips down, taking the shoulders and the arms over to twist on the right. So from here, we've got that little hip flexor stretch briefly in the right leg. So you're just gonna hover and lift the right leg up and down a few times, letting the arms out by the side. Imagine you've got that block or bottle and you're just lifting the right leg up and over that block to get into the hip flexors really trying to find that mobility of the hips, very important part of our practice. And then this time we're just gonna hug the arms around the knees, lengthen through the spine, press the pelvis forward, arch through the spine for a little pause and then open your chest. We're gonna float to Navasana boat pose. You can keep the feet down, hover the legs off parallel or go for a full extension of your legs, hands out by the sides, really broaden across your collarbone maybe come to a low boat if you're feeling funky so extending the legs bringing the shoulders towards the earth and then slowly lifting back up to high boat navasana little funky bit here you're going to swing the legs up and over the head roll over the feet and then jump back to uh, chaturanga and lower to the ground if you can't do that just swivel the hips around and slowly come to lie on your belly it's just that i'm trying to give an option for everyone don't worry if you didn't do that Interlace the hands behind you, lift up the chest, the shoulders, inhale, and then exhale, flatten to the floor. Inhale, number two, you don't have to interlace the fingers, you can just reach the arms back, head and shoulders lift. Exhale, come down. And then number three, inhale, lift, maybe lift the legs if you want to go a little bit further. And then exhale, come down. Press the hands under the shoulders and the hips back to our child's pose. Take the knees out wide. And then this time take the left hand onto the lower back, just pulling the left shoulder back, looking slightly over to the left. Slight twist, left hand back down, right hand this time onto the lower back, pulling the right shoulder back, looking over to the right. Little modified child's pose. And then we're gonna slink forward into our puppy pose, Anahata, melting heart. So you wanna keep your hips lifted, Take your hands to the top of the mat with the arms straight and press the chest, the forehead, the chin towards the ground. Breathing nice and deep. We're gonna slink into sphinx here. So you lift the shoulders, swivel the hips down to the floor and you want the head and the shoulders lifted. So a squeeze of the glutes, a tuck of the tailbone and a nice long neck. No looking up or down, pressing the elbows into the floor, elbows under your shoulders strong activation we don't just check out here and then slowly we're going to come down to the floor and you're just going to swivel all the way onto your back so i know your head is at the top of your mat but just turn around to lie on your back take a big extension out through your arms feet fingertips and then give yourself a big hug so you want to wrap your knees into the chest holding onto it with your arms Good. then here we're going to just do a few hip rotators this they are a bit odd but they're really good for the hip flexors so you're just going to make big old circles with the knees one direction then the other so you just open one knee out to one side the other and you're just drawing big circles kind of swinging the knees open and close so just making semi circles 
with the knees, the arms can be out by the sides. And take the feet hip distance as wide as the mat. We're just going to windscreen wiper the legs, so dropping the knees from left to right, right to left. Just really pressing the knees down towards the floor, getting into the hips. Finding your breath still. And then before our final Shavasana pose, let's take a butterfly, so soles of the feet together, dropping the knees out wide, closing down the eyes, opening the arms out by the sides, taking a full breath in through the belly, and a full breath out. Full breath in, full breath out. trying to connect with the warmth of the body, seeing if anything feels different now to at the start of class. Then extending your legs out long to your Shavasana, the peak of it all, the king of the postures, the queen of the postures, the Shavasana where it all the magic happens. No movement, no fidgets. It's all a mindset, why resist to those temptations to fidget, to move, just be still. You're strong, I'm sure there's many things that we're determined at in life that we want to win this power. Why can't we just give in? Allow the body to relax. Give in to the urge, the temptation to fidget, just one more moment here. Before wiggling the fingers, the toes, Maybe extending out all the way from fingertips to toes, taking a big breath in. And out. And bringing the knees into the chest, hugging the arms around the knees before rolling to your right hand side and bringing yourself up to a seated position. Keep the eyes closed, it's really precious to try to keep the eyes closed or half closed in these parts or at least when you get back to your seated position reclose down the eyes take a full breath in just honoring your practice this moment being in the here and now and slowly bringing your hands to heart center in anjali mudra and remember that yoga is a personal and reflective practice it's a time to be in the present on your mat, decompress, a breather, time to get a different perspective. And let's just take our last moment and last breath here before a bow of the head. And from my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you, uh, if you did this video, see that a lot of the other videos are different because I don't live in such a beautiful surrounding all the time um, but when I do get to go to some magical places around the world I use it as an opportunity to practice and get some more videos um, live because I have a bit more time so it's not all like this um, I do live in a flat in London just like everybody else uh, this isn't real life um, but it is for this moment so I feel very grateful so thank you again for watching subscribe share give me feedback whatever it is that you need thank you